Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 6 Lost Borders. We're still in Chapter 9 and we're going to go ahead and start up the uh, culminating event of this chapter with a pretty long and involved battle as well. Oh, yeah, she kind of ran away. Oh. Yeah, you're kind of an asshole, I've got to say. You remind me a lot of Machias. And I really didn't like him all that much either. Yeah, there was a much better way of handling it, but you just didn't do it. No kidding. Especially since you really like her. I mean, we did learn that in the, um, the night conversation bonding event. Oh. Oh. He's just trying to make you feel better. You know, God forbid anybody make anybody try to feel better in this game. Like, if, if you try to comfort somebody, you're, like, automatically in the wrong in this game. I don't get it. Um, no, it was pretty much all Nesty's fault. Um, okay. Oh! Who's the person important to you? Huh, I'm sure I would know if I played one of the other Summonite games, but, you know, they weren't translated. What do you want from me? I really hate Cannon's shirt, and what's with the, uh, like, dog collar on him? I just, I don't get it. But it was your fault! You should be blaming yourself! You shouldn't be such an asshole all the time! Uh... Okay... Why? By deflecting the blame and blaming Taurus, even though Taurus is the victim? Yeah, let's just victim blame. Sure. Whatever. Again, Taurus did nothing wrong! Uh... Yeah, you should apologize to pretty much everyone. No kidding. If there's anybody that you should be suspicious of, it's Kasis. Just giving you a hint here. We have like a demon king on our side who's able to smell out other demons. And uh, he pretty much hit the nail on the head with that one. I'm still just guessing here, but hey, anything to... Uh, not case us off. I am all about. I cannot stand that girl. Ugh. Damn annoying. Okay. Well, what's wrong? Well, yeah, as well she should. And again, Nesty has doubts about you for what reason? Just because? Just to create some sort of artificial conflict here? What does that matter? Who cares what other people think about you? Like, why do you care about that? You don't even know what you think of yourself, but you're gonna care more about what other people think of you? Wow, Amu has some, like, issues. <laughs> okay, I have to question here. Why is Casus even... Well, really, the question is, why is Burrell talking to Casus? Because Burrell hates Casus, as well he should. And he doesn't trust Casus. And, you know, he thinks that Casus is some sort of demon lord. Yet he's confiding in her or talking to her? I don't get it. I really think that Casus is the one blame here. Like, Casus is deflecting the blame that he should so rightfully have and putting it on Amu, who doesn't deserve any of the blame or any suspicion at all. Exactly. She's not hiding anything, but we're all blaming her for no reason. Less attractive. 
Ugh, you're attracted to him? What is this, like bestiality? Interspecies relationships here? Seriously, what has she done to anybody? If anything, she went ahead, she saved all of your lives. She told you all about this world. She gave you a place to stay. She put food in your mouths. Without her, you would all be dead right now. Freaking ingrates. Ugh. Poor Amu. Like, what the hell? Like, why would you have friends like these? You, you, who needs enemies? Like, seriously, come on. Could her skirt get any shorter? I mean, seriously. Oh, poor girl. Nobody's ganging up on her for no freaking reason. Ugh. Why am I here? Why can't I remember anything? What am I? I'm so frightened. <laughs> poor you. What? Where did that voice come from? Is having no way of proving who you are really so scary? That voice? It's echoing in my head! How are you talking to me? The insecurity and emptiness you harbor within yourself are clear as day to me. So, you want to find out more about yourself. Hmm. Who you are, and why you're living all alone in this world. That knowledge may finally give meaning to your empty existence. And those who doubt you would finally come to trust and accept you. Don't you agree? I... I... I don't. Oh. <laughs> if you wish to know the truth, come and let me tell you all about it. Wait! I'll be waiting for you. The voice, it's, it's gone. I can't hear it anymore. Truth, the meaning of my existence? Can whoever or whatever that was really know the answer? Yeah. I must find out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where'd Amu go? She must be really upset by that grilling she got from Nesty after we first met. I thought we could really form a bond of trust and get to know each other better. Such a laughably simple goal. What? There's a voice in my head. Who is that? No one of consequence. Just a helping hand for your troubles. There is something else you should be more concerned about right now. Huh? Do you honestly believe you can return to your original world? Of course I can! Case isn't everyone from Flatter working on the solution to do that! And yet, you've already been snatched away to a new world, haven't you? Shouldn't you be thinking about your own world, your family and friends, rather than someone you just met? It is not a difficult concept to understand if you try. The longer you play friend games here, the sadder and more dejected those waiting for you in your original world will become. In pain, as they reach the limits of exhaustion, they may find it easier to eventually forget about you. No! That won't happen! That's, that's not what I want! I need to look for Amu. She must be terribly confused right now. That's a bit hypocritical, isn't it? What? Who's there? You are clearly superimposing yourself onto her. An orphan brought up without knowledge of your parents. Called an upstart by your own faction. Then you were forced by others to take on a different fate. My, how that has tormented you. This voice... Aren't you... Why are you... <laughs> you know that I go everywhere you go. What? You're merely pretending to accept Amu as your ally. All you're really doing is using her to lick your wounds. She has become a convenient tool for your corrosive self-pity. That's... that's not true! Ah, but it is. However, it is nothing to be ashamed of. What's the harm in using her to help yourself? Wretched souls cannot choose the means of their relief, can they? You pretend you're okay with your friend's support. 
but you are soon to be crushed by the weight of your destiny. I never... You have to comfort yourself by pretending to care for someone else, muffling the shrieking terror inside you. Shut up! That hasn't even crossed my mind! That's not... I... I... I'm... <laughs> have the right to be suspicious of Arlo. What? Ugh. What is that disgusting voice and this this presence I feel? The secret you have so carefully hidden is the bigger issue here, I imagine. What you've revealed is nothing more than an insignificant portion of the truth. You must be so sick of yourself for claiming to be a friend to Natsumi while harboring that secret. The sheer torture you must feel, betraying her feelings like this. It's unbearable, right? H how did you know? The stench of sin cannot be hidden from me with mere glossy words. I know it all. You fear that your sin will be exposed, and then Natsumi's trust will be lost forever. It's so deliciously painful. Stop. If you cannot bring yourself to confess to her, Perhaps I can assist you. Stop! Sooner or later, it will be revealed. And then you will look into Natsumi's eyes and see nothing but loathing. Stop! Stop it! Psst! I hate to butt in, but you're starting to look a little crazy. Why all the shouting to yourself? I don't want her to know how tainted I really am. She's the only one who shouldn't know. <laughs> I don't want to lose her friendship. I just can't. Ugh! If she sees you like this, she's definitely gonna re-evaluate! Get your act together, weirdo! You're gonna just let some stupid words shake you up like that? Cry all you like now, it ain't gonna erase whatever the heck you already did! You got no choice but to deal! Don't give that raving lunatic the time of day! If you ain't gonna face your problems head on, you'll be Demon King feed before you even realize it, sweetie! <gasps> You know I'm right. I'm always right, right? Yes, you are. I did what I did, and there's no running away from that. I have to face it. Anything else would be truly betraying Natsumi. We appear to have an unwelcome interruption. I've been called a lot of things, but that's a first. It doesn't matter. I seem to have influenced the others anyway. Natsumi and the others have been affected? Oh no, I have to go look for her. I see you've hurt your precious one again, miserable offspring of Lael. Don't you realize your constant skepticism is always dividing your companions like this? You? You may have acted with someone's interests in mind, but you won't convey your true feelings like that. But that's just as it must be, due to the curse you have inherited. Curse? You are the product of the sin your clan committed, and humiliation from humans. What else would you call it, if not a curse? Those feelings you have for her, are they even real in the first place? What? All those memories you inherited from your ancestors only add to your burden. Wouldn't you agree? She is the only one who can share your cursed fate. And that is the real reason why you care so much for her. As a salve for your mortal wounds. Shut up. You hate them, don't you? Those foolish, ugly humans. Not that I disagree. They are odious. And then, when you consider how your clan has been treated all this time, it isn't necessary to be bound to those humans any longer. Liberate yourself from this darkness. Go on, Lael clan descendant. Are you quite finished listening to yourself talk? I know who you are. Such a shame your hard work will come to nothing. While I can't forgive the humans, there are still things that I wish to protect, and I will never forsake the determination of my will. I have no time for self-loathing. I choose not to steep in the sickly sweet rot of regret, but to keep running forward, even if it means I am the first to be wounded over and over, and I'll do it with her at my side. Be gone, foul demon king. I will not fall victim to your manufactured intrigue. Well, that wasn't too difficult. He's gone. But 
Knowing him, he'll try that with the others as well. I need to go look for Taurus. I want to go back. I really do. Please, everyone. Don't forget about me. Erasing my existence. Before I find the way back. Natsumi, snap out of it. I want to go back. To my original world. But it's useless. I can't go back anymore. That's not true. You can go back. Hey, can you hear me? That's <laughs> me. I'm right here, and I'll promise you as many times as you like that I'll get you back to your original world. Hey, sis. I'm so sorry for doing such a horrible thing to you, but I really like you, Natsumi, and that's absolutely true. So please, believe me. Please, Natsumi. Hey, sis? Natsumi, are you back with me now? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. There's something I need to tell you, Natsumi. I... I'm actually... It's okay. You don't have to tell me yet. Huh? Tell me again after we've returned to Linbaum. And you've strengthened your resolve. Are... Are you sure? Yeah. You came out here to help me. And that's good enough for me. I can trust you. So... Tell me again, when the time is right, and we're out of this mess. Okay? Okay. Okay. Kasus, we are... Friends, right? Of course we are? <laughs> Ouch, that hurts, Kasus. I love you, Natsumi. And I love you too. Why am I always having such a hard time? I don't know about my clan. I'm just myself, that's all. So why... A knife? What would a knife be doing in a place like this? All right, stuff always falls here. But this is very convenient. The instrument by which I can end this. I don't want to keep doing this anymore. If suffering is all that awaits me, then... Maybe I should just end it all. Stop! Uh... Ness! You! What are you doing? Put down the knife! No, I want out. It's all too much, too distressing. I'm scared, and I want this over. I can't carry the burden alone. It's easier just to end it all. You can't. Why not? You should understand how I feel too, so... No! <laughs> you idiot! Meanie, just leave me alone already! No, I'm not letting you go anywhere. Have you forgotten about those who care deeply about you? The people who supported us all this time? I find this fate to be a burden sometimes, too. But living is not always suffering. Don't you remember? Weren't you the one who taught me that? That's why you can't let it end here like this. You must never stop fighting against fate. If you're suffering, lean on me. I don't care if you hate me. I just want you to be happy. Oh, Ness. Please, Taurus, for me? Thank you, Ness. It's so warm, Ness. Now oh, go. The truth you seek is right here. <laughs> I want to know. I have to go. Please wait, Madam Amu. I came after you because I sensed you were not your usual self. Madam Amu, do you not recognize me? I hear a voice calling me. Ah, ah! Abnormality in pupils of the eyes confirmed. Clear signs of hypnotism detected in body movements. You are clearly being controlled by another. Hold firmly to your sense of self, and do not give your heart over to that voice you are hearing. No, oh, I am going there. I have to go. You must not, Madam Amu. Come back with me. Everyone is worried about you. You're lying. Nobody's worried about me. I'm unnatural and empty and alone. Madam Amu. I'm scared because I don't know anything. I must find the meaning of my existence. Madam Amu, I am a Frozen, 
a mechanical doll. As I am a created entity, I once pondered over what the meaning of my existence was as well. And for that reason, I cannot abandon you as you are struggling with the same question of being. Uh, uh, don't come near me. Do not try to get in my way. Madam Amu. No. Everyone will reject me anyway because I'm an empty shell. I am so scared. Not knowing who I really am. Out of my way. Don't stop me. I will not comply with that command. It is for your own well-being. Just go away. Madam Amu. Get lost. Ah! <sighs> Why didn't you move? Why aren't you going away? Madam Amu, if you just listen, I will explain. You saved us when we fell to your world. Instead of turning away, you gave us a needed helping hand. I have therefore concluded that you are a kind-hearted person. You are the only one who can reject or affirm yourself. And regardless of where you have come from, it does not change the fact that you are who you are. You alone can decide what course you are to take in the future. You may be unsure, and it may cause you pain, but the future is a path you find for yourself. So please, Madam Amu, kind-hearted person that you are, do not deny yourself. Please do not fall for this deceit. I am confident that you can overcome this if you only desire to. I, I am... Uh... Madam Amu, please wake up. Kunin? Yes. You recognize me now? My head is in a fog, but I'm sorry for worrying you so. You were being misled by someone insidious. Please do not worry about me. Was it really necessary to intervene? My fun ruined by a collection of metal and bolts is intolerable. And so, the voice has come again to try to mislead. Correct. Who are you? Such a curious heap of scrap metal and circuits stands before me. My name is Reem Melgitos, but many know me as the evil demon king of lies and intrigue. Evil demon king. call themselves evil. Why not just Demon King? And what is this all about anyway? Weren't you listening? I said I wanted to have fun, did I not? All of you could provide great amusement with so little prodding, since you were in such a fragile state. And yet, I end up disappointed instead, thanks to a pile of scrap metal. Kunin's not scrap metal. She risked her life to stop me from making a grave mistake. Madam Amu. I will not allow you to mock her like that. My, my. A girl that no human would accept has formed a friendship with a doll of scrap metal. How interesting. As interesting as this may be, however, I must insist you pay for disrupting my fun. Be a good, lifeless doll, and go back to the metal shavings that gave you form. It missed? Wh what happened? I was so sure it was going to hit you. Space leaping. Who's there? Phew. That was just a little too close for comfort. But thanks to the great Luchelle, we're all safe and sound. You. You all are safe and sound. Right, guys? W we're fine. But who are you? I'm the ever-elusive fiend merchant, the one and only Luchelle. Why have you involved yourself in my affairs? What are you keeping them alive for? Does it matter? Maybe I just thought you venting on them was a little, I don't know, disgraceful? What? If I can't have fun with it, I'll kill it. Your sad motto, it seems. And that's a terrible way to live. 
some evil demon king of lies and intrigue you are. More like spoiled baby of diapers and tantrums. Watch your tongue, Lucelle. Do not make me show you your true place in our order. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get carried away. I'll grant you a dismal death, fit for the inferior beings you are. Come forth! Did he just command those monsters to appear? Wow, this is really pathetic. I can't believe he's taking this so seriously. But what can we do now? Nothing. Look, I'm not trying to boast or anything, but I have absolutely no battle skill at all. Not a zip. What? So the only valiant thing on you is that mouth of yours? I cannot fight, but I can buy you time. I will lure them away so both of you can escape. Absolutely not. I'm not leaving you behind. I'd rather... Oh, so you volunteer to fight me. You, the one who doesn't even know who they are. Facing me alone to protect them? That's rich. Ha! Yes, I may not know who I am, but Kunin was right. In the end, I'm the only one in charge of my self-worth and my destiny. I choose not to run from my friend like a coward. Madam Anu. And as a result, I have no choice but to fight. For boss time against Melgidos himself. If you don't know who Melgidos is, you're in good company. He was the main villain of Summonite 2. So here we are, right in the beginning of Summonite 6, fighting the main bad guy of Summonite 2. That's pretty cool. It's also pretty cool that Lucelle is here. She made a cameo appearance in uh, Summonite 5. She was like in that coffee shop all the time. And she is from the very first Summonite action RPG. It was called Summonite EX These. So, yeah. Oh, a test? Uh oh. Yeah, everybody's pretty chatty in this game, Amu. It's all we ever do, stand around and talk. Oh, yikes. Okay, so here we go against Melgido, but where's it's all my, my little turn. friends and everything? Here I go. And can I take him out? Find out next time on Let's Play Summer Night Six Lost Borders. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.